This is the Grand Decor Custom Order Motorized Roller Window Shade. Let's take it out of the box. Now this video is a little bit different from most of the review videos I do. I'm not going to show you how to install this shade. Very simple reason. Your window is different from mine. There are always little caveats and little things you have to engineer around with the particular window you have. So my window is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Therefore, you're going to have to mount this yourself in whatever way that you see fit. Now let me tell you a little bit about the shade. Like I said, this is a custom order shade. You measure the dimensions of your window. You measure the width, you measure the height, and then you can choose options. Some of the options you have available are interior, internal or external mounting. That is to say, do you want the entire shade to fit within the window frame itself, just covering the glass? Or do you want to mount it on the molding on either side of the window and have it kind of come down in front of it like that? So you have your choice of internal or external mounting. The shade is motorized, like I said. It charges via USB. They give you a nice long cable, USB to USB-C, as you see there. As an option, you can opt for a solar panel. It has little adhesive strips, the red things I'm showing you, along with its own installation instructions. And you can mount the solar panel up so it gets sunlight and that can be plugged into the shade itself so that way it will get a trickle charge from there. That's not to say that it's going to work in the dead of winter after we've had 53 days where it's only light out for six hours a day and there was never any sunshine. So you may need to still plug it in from time to time. If you see right here, I have the solar panel mounted up in the window and you can run the wire through there. You can see that it's plugged in right there and over on the left there, every now and again, is a little red light that flashes. So that is now being solar charged from the sun and provided there's nice sunny days, nothing you ever have to worry about as far as charging it. To control it, they give you a little screwdriver, which is for the battery to get the little screw out in the remote control. This is a one channel remote control. You have your up or down. You also have the option, of course, to purchase a 15 channel remote which has a lot more buttons on it and can control therefore up to 15 shades. This also is voice controllable. You have two options for that. They are additional purchases. They have a USB adapter or a Wi-Fi bridge adapter as you see right here. And with that you can use your voice assistant such as a, an Amazon Echo or a Google Home Assistant to control the shade by simply asking it to raise the shade or put the shade up or lower the shade or put the shade down or whatever the nomenclature therefore is. So the next shot you see is going to be this shade installed. Incidentally, you not only specify the length and width of the shade that you need, but also the color of it. I chose this nice gray color. There are a multitude of different colors available out there for you to choose from. And once again, these are blackout shades. That is to say, the shade material lets no light through it whatsoever. There's always going to be light on the edges of it because no window is exactly right, 100% plumb and straight all the way. Nobody's house is that way. So just bear that in mind, but the shade material itself is blackout and it itself allows no light through. Like I had stated before, I'm not going to show you how to mount this. There are installation instructions and of course the brackets to mount it because otherwise it won't stay up. They are well written. Everything is right here. It tells you how to work the remote and everything is right there for you. So you do need to sit down and read the book. Remember, you wanted the shade, so you need to learn how to operate it properly. As far as installing the brackets, while I'm not going to show you that, typically what you would have is your window. This would go, here's the window glass itself. 
okay and the wood above that so it gets pushed up there and this is going to be on the top of the window frame right there the wood just above the window glass itself up top you put two screws through there and there okay so that way it'll be mounted firmly there and then to install it the way it works is this this will be mounted already to the window and you hook this in at the front push back see it's spring loaded right there and then it hooks in down there and locks in place you can mount these for all intents and purposes anywhere so if you don't want it all the way at the edge you don't have to go there you can put it here and on the other side about here and that'll work just as long as it's being locked in and again with the two screws shot through that into your window frame it locks in like that and it's nice and tight and won't go anywhere now I'm going to show you a little bit about the remote here bear in mind technical support issues must go to Grand Decor I'm just giving you a brief overview it's in the instructions you must read and follow these instructions what's going to happen after you get your shade installed is well let me show you the remote first here you have your up button your down button and the middle is the stop button so you could stop it halfway down if you want just like that what you need to do is set the limits because otherwise if you hit up it's gonna go all the way up until it can't go anymore not good and if you hit down it may overshoot the bottom of the window not good so you want to fix that and that's where the little screwdriver comes in. You take out the screw in here. It's a little tiny screw, so it's a little fidgety. And then you slide it like that, and it comes apart. And you'll see there are buttons on the inside. This is the top of the remote, the way you always know is there's a little like wireless looking symbol if you can see that there so that's always the top of the remote so with this like that you have a couple of different things here I'm not going to go over the function of this button over here again that's in the book but these are your high limit and low limit switches you also have an admin and a user mode you're going to want to flip that to the user mode for setting up the high and low limits and the way it works very simply is you have the shade it's typically going to be rolled all the way up you hit the down button it starts going down when it hits exactly the point you want you press the stop button and it will stop then you press the down button here light inside is going to flash and that is now programmed the lower limit for it to go up you press the up button once it gets right up to the top, press stop, get it exactly where you want it, and then press the up button here, and that sets the upper limit. And then after doing that, when you press the down button, it'll roll the shade down right to the point where you set it, and stop automatically. When you press up, it'll go all the way up, right to the point you set, and stop automatically. The admin mode, you can set if you want, um, and what that'll allow you to do is have a double press on these buttons. When you press it once, it's going to go in what they call inching mode, where it's going to the shade is going to go nyet, 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 nyet. And if you want it to go continuously, you give it a second press, and then it'll go nice and smooth like that. And again, your stop and your up all works exactly the same way. I have the shade now installed. I'm going to demonstrate the functionality of it with the remote. Okay, now I'm going to show you remote operation. You see the shade is mounted and it's ready to go. It's all the way up, so we simply press the down button and the shade goes down. Shade up, press the up button.
you can see that I've set the stop limits exactly where I want. So the shade goes right up to the tippy top right there and just at the bottom, just grazing the lip here. So it's perfect, but of course you don't have to have it fully open or closed. We can lower it some and get it to about there and press the middle button and it stops. So it works exactly as it's supposed to. Now let's talk about automation. I chose to get the smart Wi-Fi bridge here. In the box for that you get the guide, the box, and the cable. It's got a light on it right there. Nothing else to speak of except for the back where you have the USB-C port where you plug the cable in. Obviously this needs to be powered all the time for it to work. There's an RJ11 jack which is not used in this particular circumstance and a reset button. When you go through the guide you will find a QR code two QR codes in fact. Let me open it up. There you go. You can use the Tuya Smart or the Smart Life app. That is a wonderful thing for me because I have a lot of home automation devices, smart plugs and the like, that already use the Smart Life app. So I already had that on my phone. That's fantastic. I didn't need to go download another app and clog up my phone and all that. Now I have already set this up but I'm going to run you through the steps, just a rough idea of it. Once again, for technical support, you will contact Grand Decor. But here's how easy it is to set up. Now, once again, I've already ha I already have the Smart Life app on my phone, and I have an account with that. If you don't have that, you got to set that up first before anything is going to work. So let me get everything reconfigured. We'll plug this in, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, you see, I have it uh, plugged in and it's turned on and it has a green light. You will not have a green light until you set it up. Instead you will have a red flashing light. If you don't have a red flashing light that's what that reset button on the back is for. Hold that down until that light is flashing red and quickly blink, 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 blink like that. Not blink, blink. It's got to be flashing quickly. Here's the Smart Life app. You can see I have all kinds of devices in here. You're going to add a device, so you hit the plus and add device. On the left side you scroll down to others at the bottom. And then you look for others Wi-Fi. You then enter in your Wi-Fi network and password. and then it asks you to reset the device. Again, if you have that red light blinking already, then you're good if it's flashing rapidly. And you go through the prompts here, you confirm it, say yes it's blinking quickly, and then it's going to set it up over your Wi-Fi network that you had put in before. Only works with a 2.4 gigahertz network, will not work with a 5 gigahertz network, as pretty much all of these smart home devices do. They work with 2.4, there's good reason for that. The 5 gigahertz, or 5G as people call it erroneously, doesn't have the range that 2.4 does. You need a 2.4 for the farther range. Yeah, it's slower, but what are you telling it? To raise and lower a window shade? How much faster or slower is it going to be? It's fine. That's why they're always 2.4. So you need a 2.4 network. Once you get all of that set up, you're going to get a new device in your Smart Life app called Wi-Fi Bridge. We'll update the firmware later. And I've already added Window Shade as a device. What you now do is you add a sub-device at the bottom there. On the Window Shade itself, and I'll take you up there in a second, there's a button in the upper left corner. You hold that down for a couple of seconds, it's going to go er, er, and that way you know it's in pairing mode like that. Then you hit add sub device and just wait a few seconds, it'll pick it up. You're done. That's all there is to it. If you have already set using the remote that I showed you before, 
the high and low limits and all that kind of stuff like that then you're all set to go and it just plain works real simple real easy and that's a beautiful thing if you have other smart life um, devices set up in the smart life app uh, a lamp that you could turn on and off with your phone or through a voice assistant and you already have that working with a voice assistant there is no further setup required to make the shade operate with that it truly is plug and play now you can control the uh, window shade in the app right here just like that you can hit the lower button it'll lower it hit the up button it'll raise it you can hit pause it'll stop it you can go into the settings over here reverse the motor in case it goes up when it's supposed to go down and down instead of up and that kind of stuff like that you can adjust the limits of how far up or down it goes and it also says timer opera which is really cool because you can now set that up to raise the shade at 6 a.m. and lower the shade at 7 p.m. or anything like that however you want to set it like that so with that let's go back into my office where I have the shade already set up and I will show you how it works now for Wi-Fi control I wanted to point out two things actually first of all right up here in the corner is the button that you would press to get it to pair to the Wi-Fi device so that way it is operational you'll also see a black spot over here that is the charging port for it you can mount the shade with it facing the other way but then you're gonna to have to take the shade down to charge it not really the greatest thing so I chose to mount it the easy way and you just look at it and that's all there is to it uh, with that said I have the app here everything is all set ready to go and it shows that the shade is all the way open which is correct so at the bottom you have the down we can press that it pulls the shade in the app and the shade goes all the way down but you can also just move the shade like you would in real life by just sliding that if we want it about halfway or so a little more than halfway just like that just slide the slider and it will go and it will stop anywhere just about right just about halfway and ironically I set it to exactly 50 percent uh, no I'm sorry 56 percent and that's about middle on this you have to account for the fact that this takes up a little room this takes up a little room and all that so it's not an exact science in that but what is important is that the window shade is operated on a percentage basis and that means that if you want to go and voice control it you can tell the value that you want uh, and have it draw the shade to that particular spot so let's go ahead and have my voice assistant open the shade all the way okay. open the window shade okay that will work great and now of course you can say close the window shade okay and it draws the shade all the way down as you see right there but what if we want it open you know maybe just part of the way Induction. set the window shade to 30 percent okay and it's now open 30 percent of the way Induction. set the window shade to 50 percent okay and it goes up to there and you can also do odd values such as uh, set the window shade to 93 percent okay
and you can see how it's open just a little bit, just like that. If you tell your voice assistant to lower the shade, it's not going to lower it all the way. You can say, lower the shade all the way, and it will go all the way down, or you can just say, close the shade, and it will go all the way down. But if you just say lower the shade without specifying a value, lower the window shade. Okay. It goes down part way, as you see there. And if you tell her to lower it again, it'll go a bit further, etc. And of course, the same going up. So once again, this was the Grand Day Core motorized roller window shade. Remember that this is a custom order, custom fit item. You go to their website and you select the window dimensions, the width of it, the height of it. You also get to pick your color. You can see how this has pretty much matched the uh, wall that I have here pretty well. It's a nice complement to it. So that worked really well. Of course, you pick whatever color that you want and get the right uh, mounting for it. I wanted an inside or internal mount, as you see there, like that. So that's what I chose, but you could do an external where it would go on either side, but I kind of don't really have the provisions for doing that with this window being right in the corner as it is. Uh, if you have any technical questions, those are to be sent to Grand Decor, not myself. I'm just showcasing the product but it definitely works excellent. It's now integrated with my smart home devices and works beautifully just like everything else. It works similar to a lamp dimmer if you have one of those where it can set the particular percentage of brightness. And obviously 100% is full brightness from the window, the window acting as the light. So once again, this was the Grand Day Core custom order, custom fit, roller window shade. If you'd like to purchase this item, please go to Grand Decor's website. I'll leave a link in the video description below. You can browse their shades. They have blinds and other devices as well that you can take a look at and order from there. Have a great day.